Chopstick is an interactive cutting board with built-in scale and measuring devices. And this bench concept allows you to record a video to the cloud while you sit on it, which is linked to the shadows cast by the bench that can later be accessed with an augmented reality app that reads the data from the appearance of the shadows. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. IBM is working on a new computer prototype fueled by electronic blood. Using the human brain as a model, they're designing them to be cooled and fueled by a liquid just like the blood of a human brain. This new system pumps an electrolyte blood through a computer carrying power in and taking heat out. And they hope by 2060, a one petaflop computer the size of half a football field today will fit on your desktop. The NeuroCam is a wearable camera that automatically records what interests you by analyzing your brain waves. It works on a scale from 1 to 100 with a brainwave sensor that connects to an iPhone. If your interest exceeds 60, the phone will automatically start recording to produce a 5 second animated GIF. Or GIF. The future of this project is to create an emotional interface that can use people's thoughts and feelings for a wide range of practical applications. China's smog problem could be helped by a new smog devouring vacuum concept. By using underground copper coils, the smog particles are attracted and brought down from the atmosphere to the ground. Recently in a lab setting, they created a one cubic meter smog free hole in a 5x5 five five meter room. And the challenge is now to create it on a larger scale for public spaces. Dung beetles gallop. And it looks like this. So, yeah. The aerial imaging plate displays interactive images floating in the air. Developed by Asukanet, the image is visible at a specific angle so only the user is able to see it which would make it safe to use at ATMs. And there are no fingerprints or hygiene concerns since the user is not actually touching a screen. Flykai is a smart wheel that significantly upgrades an ordinary bike. It has a pedal assist that's able to go up to 20 miles per hour for 30 miles and is used in conjunction with an app. The smart light attached to the handlebars has a pad designed to hold your phone and also charges it while you're riding. The wheel locks with the touch of a button and in case your bike is stolen, there's a GPS tracking sent directly to your phone. And it can also suggest alternate routes that may be faster or just more fun. The Poppy Project from Inria Flowers is trying to create everyday personalized humanoid robots. And even though it's not quite ready to walk on its own, it was designed to better understand biped locomotion and interactions between humans and robots. All of the parts for the robot will be able to be 3D printed or purchased from an electronics store, even though it may cost around $11,000 to make your own. Cooler Cannon! Starpath from Protec is a spray-applied elastometric coating that creates illuminated paths at night. The coating is applied in three layers and only takes about half an hour to dry. The middle layer absorbs UV energy during the day and omits this blue glow when it gets dark. The process can be applied to many different surfaces including stone paths, driveways, and even playgrounds. The Ivanpah Solar Electric Generating System will be the largest solar thermal power tower system in the world. Located in the California desert, the amount of carbon dioxide saved from going into the atmosphere will be the equivalent of taking 70,000 cars off the road. And it will generate electricity for 140,000 homes. Flirty is the first unmanned aerial vehicle delivery technology. Zucal.com is an online textbook resource delivering textbooks via a drone in Sydney, Australia. All you have to do is order from the app on your smartphone and the book will be shipped within minutes. But currently commercial flights of UAVs are not legal in the United States. Finally, Tribocycle, created by Ben Ridgway, is an absolutely mesmerizing looping movie for large scale projections and installations. The robotic ape transitioning from a quadrupedal to a bipedal posture, and as always, thanks for watching.